Welcome to the Gasocast. I'm Chris. I'm Heather. On this week's episode, we're going to talk about our Funko Hall of the Week. The giveaway you guys have been waiting for, it is going to be Infinity War themed. Heather's putting together an awesome Marvel Infinity War box. I've already seen a couple of the items. It is going to be cool. You're going to want to stay tuned to the end of this episode to find out how you can win it. But first, let's get to our Hall of the Week. If you've been keeping up with the Gasocast via Instagram, you would see that we've done a lot of live videos lately unboxing some of our items. Uh, one in particular that we unboxed this week is this Thor, Glow in the Dark Thor from Infinity War. Isn't he so awesome? Glow in the Dark, he's so cool. Probably, probably my favorite, I say this about every Infinity War pop I get, but this might be my new favorite Infinity War pop that we have in the collection. I'm really happy with this one. Yeah, and the next one that you get is going to be your next new favorite. It will be, yes, the 10 inch Thanos, which we'll talk about here in a little bit later, but this guy is really cool. Um, he was released with a bunch of different stickers. Uh, I actually happened to get the SF limited edition sticker. I didn't get the uh, Asia sticker exclusive. I did not get that one, but uh, that's okay. I, I'm not uh, a guy out looking for a bunch of stickers. I, this one's just fine by me. I traded with a guy in Thailand, so uh, and I traded a couple of Star Wars pops to get this guy, which was fine by me because I'm trying to get rid of a lot of my Star Wars pops. So he's awesome. So cool. I'm glad to have him. He's did you great. like him? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. And this week, Heather ordered me this guy. He's so cool. He finally came in the mail. Actually, you ordered it for me a little while ago, didn't you? Like Probably a couple weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Yeah, so this is from the Emerald Con. Uh, he popped up on Walgreens' website a little bit late. And Heather saw him and snagged him for me. He's so cool. I like him a lot. Deadpool the Duck. We actually have the Deadpool the Duck pop as well. We do. So this guy will go really, really well with him. I'm happy about him. You know what he lo he reminds me of? What's that? His little beak. He reminds me of when you do the um, duck Pringle tri trick. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Yeah. Because he has a real big beak. Uh-huh. Well, look, did you see this? He has a little tail in the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a little duck's tail in the back there. See it? Eh, shaking it. Uh, he's cool. Another one you may have saw if you follow us on Instagram is this Saul Goodman. I finally got my hands on this guy from Breaking Bad. Um, I only need a couple more to complete that Breaking Bad collection, I think. Just I like the... I like that. I just noticed that he has like a little earbud in his ear. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, he's cute. But yeah, we don't need that many more from that set. Well, more of the high-end ones. I think the regular versions, we've gotten all of them. Yeah. Um, but the high-end ones, like the bloody, beat-up um, uh, Jesse, we don't have that. There's That's one little, I like to get. There's a little earpiece that Chris was talking about. You yeah. can't really see it in the box right. too well. That looks think. cool, though, doesn't it? And now that we have this guy, we need Jimmy McGill from Better Call Saul. So then we'll have both versions of this character. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be That would awesome. be so cool. Uh, we just got Mike the other day, and now we have Saul Goodman. So I think we literally have everyone on the back of this box here. I which is so. awesome except do we have walt in the hazmat suit i don't think we uh do. i want to say we do but i could be wrong i think we just got him oh okay. yeah in fact it, i think we showed him on the last episode or episode before the gas cast we showed him all i don't know anything i <laughs> i don't even know what i have anymore they're my pops and i have no idea <laughs> is that that's a bad sign we mm -hmm. have so many that we don't even know what we have anymore mm -hmm. and second to last i finally got these guys in the d in a box I was super excited when they announced um, that they were releasing this. This was one of my favorite skits on Saturday Night Live, at least from the newer ones. Yes. I yeah. mean, not super new, but, you know. I don't really keep up with Saturday Night Live. In fact, I don't know much about this skit. I just remember oh, it's it. hilarious. And I remember the song that went along with it and all that, but I don't know too much about it. But what's funny is that there are people that are taking these pops and turning them into the porn like version like or not porn but like the dirty version mm -hmm. where they actually have their things out and they're holding the boxes mm -hmm. you know, off the side and it's the chase version yeah somebody said funny. they found one in an adult bookstore the other day i get i think it was a joke i, I can't imagine somebody custom it and put it inside of an adult bookstore but it's glow in the dark so like the gift boxes are glow in the dark and then like their hogs are glow in the dark too they're hogs yeah hogs <laughs> You gotta, they're hogging out, um, but I, I thought that was uh, I thought that was kind of a funny little thing that people are doing. So who are these guys? Justin Timberlake and Andy Samberg. Andy Samberg. So I don't know much about this, like I said, but they're um, they're they're funny. They're really they're really funny. Um, I don't know many of the characters back here, 
I do see the David S. Pumpkin. I've heard of that. But the more cowbell is awesome. Yeah, everybody knows yeah, more cowbell. More cowbell is cool. I so wish, I'm excited. Look, here they all are right there. I wish that they would come out with Superstar Pops. I know you don't really like that, but... Yeah, I'm, well, I'm not was a Superstar Well, it was originally a skit fan. on Saturday Night Live. I know, I know. Yeah. I, I remember. Uh, I remember the skit from like a long time ago, but the movie I couldn't get down with. But these guys are cool. You're happy you got them? I'm very happy to get them. And we got them when they were $10.99 on yes. on Amazon. That's right. We got a really good deal on these guys mm -hmm. on Amazon.com. Amazon! So... Are you ready to show off uh, the best part of this week's haul? Absolutely. These are awesome pops. I'm really happy to get them. And who can we thank for this? We can thank Braden and Jen and Tim. Yes. They're a thank family you. Um, that I sort of like accidentally connected with. They're local, of course. I think Jen and I connected in one of the larger groups, but we found out that we were both in the local groups, too. Oh, okay. So she lives really close, which was just really bizarre that we found each other in one of the bigger That's awesome. groups, and she's, yeah, a part of all of our cool. local stuff. Now, the day I went on to the website to order these guys, the website was having a lot of issues, uh, so I was not able to get them. I was on the webpage, and I was literally watching them sell <laughs> as the website was like crashing That's over insane. and over and over again so i had zero chance of getting them that day i was really bummed out about it well the good thing about our friend jen and her husband tim is they were on he was at work i think and she was at home and they were each trying to get them for their son ah, okay. and luckily with the website crashing, it was hard for them to tell, but they both ended up getting an email confirmation. So she contacted wow. me and said, hey, did you get this and do you want this? Right. And that website was Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. That's located in New Jersey that Heather and I visited in December of 2017 at Walker Stalker. Mm -hmm. We went to this store and we actually met one of these guys, sort we of. We purchased something from one of yes. these guys. Um, cause I didn't want to bother him, but what did we get Heather? Let's show them. We got these guys. I got Mike and Walt here. I have Brian and Ming. They are awesome. They're from the show comic book men. They have the secret stash logo on them. They are signed. Uh, and we're really, really happy to get so them. So happy to get them. Never thought that I'd uh, actually get them after the fiasco that particular day, but these guys are cool. So here you go. There's Walt. Look at him in all his glory. And then there is Mike Zapsick. Now, this is the guy we actually met in store when Heather and I went there. We bought our shirts from him. He was a, he was a nice guy. I just didn't want to bother him and question him about anything, but very, very cool. And here's Brian with his with big old beard. beard. Yep. And here's Ming Chen. Ming Chen. Yeah. And Ming Chen, he apparently goes to a lot of the cons and stuff. So here are the four guys from comic book men signed so this goes really really well with our chris hardwick that was signed mm -hmm. isn't that cool and they all signed in the same colored marker too that's awesome. isn't that interesting we do need to put these guys in pop protectors like asap because yeah. they're not in pop protectors uh we decided to wait until we had them stowed away in a box here the last couple of days until mm -hmm. we did the gas cast but these guys are cool best uh haul best haul of this week i think Oh, very, definitely. very happy for these guys. Uh, aside from the Thor, I really like Thor too. Um, but who are we thanking again, Heather? Thank them one more time. Jen, Braden, and Tim, thank you. Thank you so much. They're awesome. <laughs> and the next topic I want to talk about is that 10 inch Thanos is coming to Target. We'll be tracking him down very, very soon, probably this week. We've noticed that he's moved on to Texas. Isn't that what you told me today, Heather? He's mm -hmm. in Texas. Uh, so people are getting their hands on it. We always notice that. It starts in California, closest to Funko, and then it moves over within a few weeks, typically. Yes. A couple, two, three weeks, something like that. I would like say that. about two normally. So Maryland should be getting theirs this week or maybe the week after. I don't know. I guess mm -hmm. we'll I guess we'll find out. I'm thinking sometime like later this week. I'd say around Thursday. Yes. So that'll be awesome. We have some friends that are out there trying to find him for us as well. So we will be on our Mad Dash hunting, look at our Brick Seeks and crossing our fingers, hoping that Brick Seek is right. But we'll see. Hopefully we get our hands on it. This is going to be my grail of the year. I cannot wait to get him. We've seen a lot of people on our big groups posting them, and it's like everybody and their brother seems to have one. So I have a good feeling that we'll have a good chance of getting our oh, hands on Oh, yeah. That. Everyone's saying that they're getting like a pretty decent amount to stores. It's not just like one or two per store. Like a Crota situation or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, nobody wants That'd that. That would be a nightmare. Yeah, a big nightmare. 
This week on our Instagram, we asked for you guys, our viewers, to share what you wanted for us to talk about on this episode of the Gasocast. And a couple of you were really interested in the mystery boxes. Um, of course, we're going to tell you to go to poppinofftoys.com. Wes puts together a mystery box. It's so random. One actually popped up the other night while we were out at a concert and we missed it. Um, but we get from him pretty often. You'll see us unbox live on Instagram occasionally. And um, he's been really good to us. Yes, he has. We were recommended to check out shoemistore.com. Apparently they are a newer, smaller, just getting started business. Cool. Um, that has a pretty reasonably priced, I think it's like in the teens slash 20-ish dollar range cool. of um, mystery box. So awesome. I'm interested in possibly ordering from them. Yes, so we'll have to check them out. Maybe we'll order a box from them next. Yeah. Uh, I will say that Poppin' Off Toys is awesome. Wes yes. is awesome. And we will continue to order from him when we get the chance. Oh, Sometimes absolutely. we miss them and it's unfortunate, but we like to order. We did receive a couple boxes this week and we opened them live on our Instagram page. Mm -hmm. And we didn't really get anything that we were looking for, but no. it's really just the fun of doing it. Yeah. You know, for a couple bucks, you open a box and there's a possibility of getting a high-end pop yeah. or mid-range mid pop. Also, if you have any more mystery box recommendations, send them our way. We would love to be able to talk about more but we've only ordered from popping off toys before yes only popping off toys um, so far yeah and and next up shoe me yes toys. that'll be the next one and for the moment you've all been waiting for we have a giveaway coming your way look out tomorrow which is monday april 9th we are going to be posting a picture on instagram which you are going to use a hashtag it's going to be hashtag gasocast iw stands for infinity war and basically, we're just going to gather everybody who has entered, posted and entered, and put it into a randomizer, and that's how we're going to choose our winner. The winner is going to receive a mystery prize. It's gonna be Infinity War based, and I can tell you that it's going to be freaking awesome. It is gonna be awesome. I saw all the little items that you've been putting together and stuffing inside of said box. Uh, it's going to be so cool. You're going to want to enter and you're going to want to win. Yes. It's so cool. Yep. So look out tomorrow, Monday, April 9th, and I'm going to post that picture. I'm going to have you tag a couple friends, something like that. And um, yeah, good luck to everybody who enters. We are going to be announcing the winner on Sunday, April 22nd on episode, what will that be, 41 yes. of the Gasocast? Yes, it will be. Episode 41 of the Gasocast. It'll be roughly, what, five days before Infinity War premieres. Something and like that, yep. We are hoping that the winner gets their little prize box in time for the premiere. Awesome. So look out for that. Post tomorrow on our Instagram so you'll know how to enter. And you can uh, take your shot at trying to win. Oh, yeah. Winning that special box that Heather's putting together. This is her very first giveaway. I'm always the one putting giveaways together. And now it's her turn. It's my turn. All right. Well, that does it for this episode of the Gasocast, number 39. Next week will be number 40. Can you believe this? Number 40 of the Gasocast. It. It's going to be so cool. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that little bell so you know when we post new content. Also, make sure to like and comment. We really appreciate it. And share us with your friends. We're so much fun to watch. We know it. Come on, huh? We will catch you next time. And always remember, we hunt together. Bye. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Gasocast. If so, please hit that subscribe button and check out some of our other fun content. We've left you some links to some of our other videos that we thought you might like. We'll catch you next time. Bye.